Okay, year 13, 13 PSL, how are we doing? Um, thought I'd do this quick little uh, podcast so you can catch up with some notes that you might have missed out on or didn't understand in my fantastic lesson the other day. So here we are, exercise prescription. So this is US 7021. You can hopefully gain eight credits if you're successful in this unit. I know, eight credits, absolute bargain. So what are we going to look at? We're looking at basically anatomy and physiology in this unit. So when we talk about anatomy, it's pretty much the structure and the position of the various parts. Okay, so don't complicate yourself with other any other words there. It's the structure and the position, okay, of the parts. Whereas when we talk about physiology, it's the actual function of those parts. So let's just recap that. Anatomy is the structure and the position of the parts. Physiology is the function of the parts. And we gave the example in class um, of a car. Okay, so you can see the guy down there on the, on the left. He's looking at the parts of a car. So he's looking at the structure. So that would be the anatomy. So the structure of a car could be the wheels, it could be a door, the boot, the windscreen, the bonnet, the bumpers, those are the parts of the car. Whereas if we talk about the physiology, that's what makes the car work. Okay, so we're talking about maybe the gearbox, we're talking about the engine, we're talking about the braking system. So that's the functioning parts, so that would be the physiology. Okay, so we got that nice and nailed. Anatomy is the structure and position. Okay, physiology is pretty much the functioning, the moving parts, how it all happens, how it all works. Yeah, nice and simple. Now, we spoke about describing the body in terms of reference. So we're going to use lots of different words that you've probably never come across before. And one of the first phrases we have to get our head around is what we call the anatomical position. Okay, the anatomical position. And do you remember I kind of demonstrated that very well at the front of the class? Uh, a little bit like this uh, lovely lady here. She stands facing forward, feet shoulder width apart, palms of her hand facing forward. That is what we would call the anatomical position. Okay, so whenever we speak about the body, we're going to talk about it as if it was standing in the anatomical position. Now, straight away, we can go on to this, what we call the midline. This is pretty much the absolute center of the body. Okay, so we've got this line that runs. If we imagine shoving a javelin through our head all the way out and uh, spinning us around by our shoulders, that would be our midline right there. Okay, and we all have a belly button. That's roughly the center of our body. So midline, that's the first thing you need to be aware of. If someone had a chainsaw, you like the sound effects? Um, someone had a chainsaw and cut us down the middle, <coughs> straight through the middle, that would be our midline. Okay, right, let's get on and have a look at some of these terms. <coughs> Do you remember this clip? It was um, the superior and inferior. So we spoke about superiors. Now in an organization, superiors tend to be those people at the top. And if you are inferior, you're at the bottom. And that's exactly the same when we talk about the body. So if you think about anatomical positions, okay, the head is obviously superior to the feet. Yeah, easy. The head is superior to the feet. The head is on top of the feet or above. Okay, so in the diagram here, and there's some crazy pictures, but we've got this dolphin and we've got this dog. Okay, so we would say that the dolphin is superior to the dog. The dolphin is on top of or above the dog. Okay, now inferior, just the opposite. So we would say in our anatomical description, our feet are inferior to our head. The same way that our knees are inferior to our shoulders. Yeah, our chin is inferior to our nose. Okay, so it's below. So in the example again here with these crazy uh, pictures, the dog would be inferior to the dolphin. Easy. Let's move on.
Okay, anterior and posterior. And you've all heard posterior before. Yeah, it means your rear. Okay, so behind you. Posterior is the back of you. Okay, so if something is behind you, that is your posterior. So once again, using opposites, anterior is in front of you. All right, so anterior is in front, posterior is at the back. So for example, you could say that, well, let's have a look at these animals first. So you've got the, oh my gosh, what is it? It's like a dinosaur -y type thing. The dinosaur -y type thing is posterior to the frog. Yeah, you got that? So the dinosaur is behind the frog, so that's posterior. And the frog is posterior to the spider, if you can see the spider there. So the frog is behind the spider. So if we were thinking about our toes and our heels, so think about your feet, your heels are posterior to your toes. Your heels are behind your toes. Okay, and flip it around, anterior, so that means in front of, so we would say the frog is anterior to the dinosaur type thing. Okay, the frog is anterior, which therefore means your toes are anterior to your heels. Easy, easy. Next one, medial and lateral. Okay, medial and lateral. Medial is pretty much, it means that it's closer to your midline. Remember we just spoke about getting a chainsaw and cutting a straight down the middle? There it goes again. Um, basically anything that is closer to that midline we call medial. Anything that's further away from our midline we call lateral. Alright, so let's look at this silly example at the bottom. Someone's drawn in the word midline, so the <laughs> the pig with wings, it's like you get loads of those. Um, the pig with wings, we would say, is medial. Okay, the pig is closer to the midline. So in that example at the bottom, the pig is medial, which means the big fish with teeth, like a piranha -y, scary thing, is lateral. It's further away from the midline. So think about your body again. Think about your good old arm. If we were um, stood in our anatomical position, we would say that our shoulder is medial to our hand. So when you stand there, your shoulder is closer to the midline, okay, than what your hand is. Your shoulder is closer to the midline. You could say that your nose is medial to your ears. Yeah, so think about it. Your nose is closer to the midline than what your ears are. And the opposite of that is lateral. So lateral means further away from the midline. So we just reverse it. So your ears, obviously, are lateral to your nose. They are further away from the midline, aren't they? Yep, further away. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, and I think we'll leave it there for now. I think that's where we got to in class. So... If you didn't understand the other day, get on here, watch it. If you still don't understand, rewind it in your own time. Watch it again, watch it again, watch it again. If you still don't understand, just come and talk to me. Okay, but there's some pretty simple anatomical terms of reference there. Sounds like real fancy, anatomical terms of reference. But the reality is so easy to learn. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go through in class the uh, the next kind of few and then I'll do another podcast so that you can watch this in your own time at home too. If there's anything you're not understanding, please let me know. It's been great doing this. Miss you loads and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.